Hey there, juicers! The Kardashian universe keeps on giving. It feels like historic news that Tyga and Kylie dated, except their relationship was overshadowed by tons of drama. Now, Tyga finally reveals how Kris Jenner destroyed his career after breakup with Kylie Jenner. Get ready to sip on some piping hot celebrity tea with Miss Juice. Jusu gossip alert, so here's the scoop. It looks like Kris Jenner, the ultimate momager, played a hand in Kylie's decision to dump her boyfriend of two years, Tyga. The reason? Well, it seems that the arrival of Black China into the Kardashian clan caused a major shakeup. According to Kardashian biographer Ian Halperin, Kris felt there wasn't enough room for both Tyga and Black China in the family, especially with the news of Black's pregnancy. Sure, there were rumors of Tyga's financial troubles and alleged infidelity. Fidelity, but the main driving force behind Chris's decision was black. Halperin spilled the tea, saying it was Chris who decided that Tyga had to go, and it was made not because of his apparent infidelities or the age gap in his relationship with Kylie. Chris saw Black China's relationship with Rob Kardashian as a key part of the Kardashian family, so she had to prioritize her. A sneaky insider revealed that the Kardashians were also sick of dealing with Tyga's constant financial issues. He was being evicted and never could pay his rent. When China began dating Rob, it was just a matter of time before Tyga got the boot and was kicked to the curb. Naturally, his name was in every tabloid during his stint with Kylie, and with a sudden and painful breakup, things took a tumble for Tyga. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Halperin suggests that the Kardashian clan is now sweating bullets because Tyga could spill some major Kardashian secrets. They're reportedly losing sleep over what he might reveal, feeling like he's holding all the cards. According to insiders, Tyga isn't playing nice like Scott Disick did after his split with Kourtney Kardashian. They were able to sweet-talk Scott into staying on the show and keeping things under control, but Tyga seems to be doing his own thing. Meanwhile, we know Kylie bounced back from the breakup by diving back into the dating scene. After a brief break, she called it quits with Tyga for good in April 2017. Like, it just never happened. That part of my life was really hard for me. To open up about. Not wasting any time, Kylie started dating Travis Scott shortly after. Tyga is trying to take control of his life. He is finally ready to spill the beans on what led to their breakup. In an interview on The Breakfast Club, the 28-year-old rapper spilled all the tea about his relationship with the youngest Jenner sibling. You love her though, still. I mean, I have love for her, but like, I'm not in love no more. You know what I'm saying? So. It yeah, that's, let that slip. Slip, yeah, slip. yeah, that's like the honeymoon stage. Like you get with anybody like for the first year, it's like it's magic. And after that, like you start like realizing a bunch of shit. One of the main factors that contributed to their split was the age difference between Tyga and the then 19-year-old Kylie. Tyga, who has had his fair share of high-profile relationships in the past, acknowledged that Kylie's youth played a role in their separation. While Kylie may be a sophisticated young lady with a booming business empire, Tyga believes that certain life experiences come with time and maturity. Naturally, dating someone in the public eye comes with a whole lot of drama. He was pretty uncomfortable with always being in the spotlight, whereas Kylie was constantly pushed to be in it. That alone was a huge clash between the two. And they faced a lot of societal pressure too. Their age gap for starters constantly puts them under scrutiny. The world wasn't willing to accept them as a couple, and their being interracial also added more controversy. A white socialite and a black rapper dating, not everyone's cup of tea. Now, now that they've gone their separate ways, Tyga believes that he and Kylie have different life goals and aspirations. Moreover, after this roller coaster of a relationship, he said he was finally getting a chance to be single and happy. Now let's circle back to how did Black China add more dirt to Tyga and Kylie's messy relationship? Let's what are you gonna do next, like when it comes to dating? Because I'm sure you've learned a lot. I mean, I'm just like, I'm just really having a lot of fun being single. I haven't had a bad day yet, so nice not to have to answer to anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, I feel. Let's dive into the roller coaster of relationships and personal transformations in the life of Black China. It all started back in December 2011 when she appeared in Tyga's music video for Rack City. Although Tyga asked her to join him on tour that year, she declined the offer. However, sparks flew between them and they officially started dating in December 2011. Their relationship blossomed and they welcomed the son together in October 2012. Unfortunately, their love story hit a major bump when Tyga began dating Kylie. Jenner in 2014. 
causing social media feuds between Black China and Jenner. But things took a surprising turn when Black China started dating Jenner's half-brother, Rob Kardashian, in 2016. Their relationship quickly escalated, and in November 2016, they welcomed a daughter into the world. That was the time when Chris decided to nip Tyga and Kylie for good. Except, she had her attention focused on the wrong Kardashian. Rob Kardashian took to Instagram in December 2016 to announce that he and Black China had split. And China took everything that we built for the nursery for the baby dream and she left. They briefly reconciled but broke up again in February 2017. Things took a dark turn when Kardashian shared explicit photos of Black China on social media in July 2017. This led to Black China obtaining a temporary restraining order against him. The drama didn't stop there. In October 2017, Black China filed a massive lawsuit against the Kardashian family, seeking over $100 million dollars in damages for defamation. The trial began in April 2022, but on May 2, 2022, the jury sided with the Kardashian family, resulting in no damages being awarded to Black China. Between all the ups and downs in her personal life, Black China underwent a significant transformation in March 2023. She revealed that she had converted to Christianity and had been baptized a year earlier. In light of her newfound faith, she made some changes, including deleting her OnlyFans account and reversing some of her plastic surgery. She even removed her tattoo of Baphomet, symbolizing her commitment to her faith. Well, she might be having a complete do-over when it comes to her life and personality, but Chris is not holding back about the ugly side she's seen in her. During Jenner's testimony, China's lawyer questioned her about a deposition from 2019, where Jenner claimed that China had threatened my daughter's life. Jenner explained that she had heard about the threats from her daughter Kylie and Kylie's then-boyfriend Tiger. China and Tyga dated from 2011 to 2014, while Kylie dated Tyga from 2014 to 2017. And Rob Kardashian had a relationship with and was engaged to China from 2016 to 2017. Jenner stated that the aggression towards Kylie came from China because she was dating Tyga at the time. When pressed for details about the allegations, Jenner repeatedly deflected and suggested asking Kylie or Tyga for more information. She claimed to have heard stories from Kylie about China allegedly cutting Tyga's arm with a knife, but admitted that she never reported it to the police, opting to keep it internal. Interestingly, Jenner revealed that she didn't have a strong reaction when she found out about Rob dating China, despite knowing about the domestic abuse allegations. China's lawyer questioned why Jenner seems unconcerned about Rob's relationship if she believed China was trying to harm her daughter. Jenner pointed out that the lawyer had used the word tried instead of threatened, emphasizing the difference. Sporting an electric blue suit and Travis Scott Jordan 1 sneaker, Jenner admitted to the courtroom that her family has experienced a lot of drama over the years, and she's become somewhat accustomed to it. She claimed that she initially wanted China and Rob to be happy together, acting as a mentor to China and offering assistance with businesses and baby nurseries. However, she acknowledged that the relationship was rocky from the start. According to Black, though, Rob had been pursuing her for ages, and they clicked and vibed well. Of course, Rob and Black's crazy butted heads soon enough. As for the reality show aspect, Jenner stated that as an executive producer for Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she was not involved in internal discussions with the network. She claimed to have not known about the decision to greenlight the second season of Rob and China despite E! Network stating the show's renewal. With tensions running high in the courtroom, it's clear that this legal battle is far from over. The trial continues and we'll have to wait and see how it unfolds and what impact Jenner's testimony will have on the outcome. All we know is, this crazy Kardashian drama is not one I want to be a part of. Stick around with me to keep up with all the crazy Hollywood drama.